we are currently boiling this chocolate so that we can see when it melts and um, and then we'll temper it which is when you put it on the paper and see whether it's still shiny okay at the moment we're cooling down this chocolate uh, and then tempering and then soon we'll transfer it back to the boiling tube for some reason we are now putting the chocolate back into the boiling water so that we can temper it and spread it on here and see whether it has lost its shiny Hello. Now, look at these charts here. <laughs> this is chocolate at zero wheat. So, it's just straight out packet. Like and see how there are very little bumps on it. Very little bumps. It's quite flat, quite even, yes? Okay, we're going to compare this to chocolate at four weeks. 22 Celsius. Which isn't too bad. Mm. Wow. Um, you can see, not much has happened because this is the ideal temperature. Yeah? But if we look over here, to four weeks old, at 31 Celsius, so quite hot. There's lots of spikes here. The chocolate um, crystals have deformed and changed. Now, we'll just have another example here. This is at four degrees Celsius. So it's a long way after it's come to the zone. And you can see these, these big ridges here. That's bad. Just got the that means that bloom has gone wrong charge. and people wouldn't <laughs> buy this. Yeah. 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 Thank you. you degrees. Okay. The white, the dark chocolate melted at a higher temperature at 35 degrees Celsius. Whereas the white chocolate melted at 31. Um, we think this is because uh, the white chocolate is solely made up of cocoa butter. And but the dark chocolate has cocoa butter and cocoa powder. Which gives it a higher boiling point. Melting.